Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So January is almost done. It feels like the month just started, but it's almost done. So I figured it's time for another channel update video. I don't have too many things to update on. Um, so this will be a relatively quick, short video, but just a couple things I want to touch on. Um, first and foremost, I know a lot of you guys, at least those of you who are subscribed and watch my series reactions, are very, very curious what I'm going to be diving into next. Where is Topher going to go? What is he going to dive into? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I've had so many questions over it, especially since over the last month. I've made it kind of my mission to finish out a lot of the series that I started, either this month or the last couple of months. So in the last month alone, I finished out... Um, Love with Benefits, I finished out Tale of a Thousand Stars, I finished out Bad Buddy, I finished out Advance Bravely, I finished out, I started and finished out History 2 Crossing the Line, and I started and finished Oxygen the series. So that's six different series that I finished, two of which I started in the same month. So I know a lot of you guys have been like, oh, when are you going to get to this? When are you going to get to that? When are you going to get to... Y'all. I've only got so much time in this world. I've only got so much free time to to watch stuff, to edit stuff, to upload stuff. And with the minimal time that I do have, I still manage to get through six different series in addition to the music reactions that I do. So like, I know you guys are anxious. I know you guys are super excited and you just want me to react to everything under the sun. And I would love to react to everything under the sun. Unfortunately, there's just not enough time in the day. Like, do I react to new series that are coming out right now? Do I react to old series that you guys keep telling me to react to? It's like, ah, 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 I can't do it all. It's, it's a balancing act. I'm trying to. But I feel like six series in one month, closing out six series in one month is kind of insane. So I'm a, I'm a little crazy, but you know, we, we already knew this. Um, so with those series finished, I wanted to come into February with kind of semi sort of quasi a clean slate. There's still, I think, two series left that I started back in either end of November, beginning of December. That I only did like one episode for each of the series and I just haven't gone back to them. So my goal for January was just to clear out my backlog and, you know, finish out as many of the series as I possibly could. And I did a, feel like I did a damn good job. So starting in february actually starting with this reaction session that i'm recording right now i'm going to go back and dive back into a lovely writer because i know so many of you guys have been wondering when are you going to get back into lovely writer when are you getting back into lovely writer february i'm getting back into lovely writer in february don't you worry i'm also going to dive back in and finish out mr cinderella because i feel like that one is a relatively shorter series i feel like that's like a handful of episodes so I can get through that. Just like I did um, Love With Benefits, I just kind of powered through in the span of like a week. I feel like I can power through um, Mr. Cinderella too, just to get it off my backlog and make room for a new series. Cause I don't like diving into new series and leaving stuff on the backlog. Like it, it killed me to leave Lovely Rider on the backlog, but I just had so many things that I was already just in the midst of. And I, I didn't want I didn't want my attention being split in too many different directions and not really giving it the attention that it deserves because from the first episode that I reacted to, I really, really enjoyed it and I felt like it was going to be a really special series. So I really want to give it the attention that it deserves. Um, so yes, I'm going to dive back into Lovely Rider. I'm going to finish out Mr. Cinderella. And then as far as new series on the channel, drum roll, doo -doo 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 -doo, I've got like eight here on my list. I don't know that I'm gonna get to all of them. I might be being ambitious. Um, or, you know, maybe I'll do what I did in December and I'll like do a reaction to each one of them, you know, one episode and see how they go. And then from there, you know, pick which ones I'll continue on with throughout February and then pick up the rest of them, maybe going into March. Um, the series I currently have on my to-do list are, in no particular order, We Best Love, Obviously, Lovely Rider, I just said. Mr. Cinderella, which I just said. I'm going to dive into the Tarn-type universe. So many of you guys have been asking me for it. And then so many of you guys have been warning me against it. And I've already talked about it in past um, channel update videos and whatnot. And shared my thoughts about it. Yes, I know there's stuff that you guys have warned me about that's triggering in the series and whatnot. And 
like I said in whatever past um, channel update video when I first addressed it, um, just because I don't like certain themes or I don't like certain things doesn't mean I can't watch them. And it doesn't mean that, like, yes, it might be uncomfortable to see or I'm, it might make me feel some type of way, but at the same time, I'd rather use it as like an educational moment or a moment to open up dialogue, open up conversation so that we can have, you know, open dialogue like, hey, this is how this makes me feel. This is how this makes you feel. And we can talk about these things because just because things are uncomfortable to see or uncomfortable to talk about doesn't mean that they shouldn't be touched on. Um, and I always try to make this channel an open and safe space for people. So I feel like even though I may not necessarily like some certain themes that you guys have warned me about, it doesn't mean that we can't still discuss them. And maybe in discussing them, we can enlighten some people who may not have thought of certain things in a certain way. Or maybe I might be enlightened by certain things. I don't know. But yes, I'm going to be diving into the Tarn type universe. I don't remember which one was first. I know some, a lot of you have given me like a chronological list of which series you know, was like the first in the timeline. Um, I don't remember which one it was. Yeah, you guys can leave that down in the comments again if you want, or I'll Google it and find out. But whichever series comes first in the timeline, I'll dive into that one, and then, you know, just work my way through the Tarn type universe in my own time. Um, Manor of Death is also on my to-do list because it's one that's been recommended a number of times. You guys want me to dive into, I believe, Max Toll. Um, and... Yeah, you guys, it just, when I reacted, I think I reacted to a trailer for it. It just looked different. And right now I'm all about like just different kind of BL series because I've, I spent a lot of time in like the, you know, the typical fluffy, not, they're not all fluffy, but you know, the romance, the high school driven BL series, the this driven VL series, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I, I'm slowly but surely, like, branching out to some of the other ones. So, like, right now I'm reacting to Rainbow Prince, which is a BL musical, which is something I never thought I'd see, but it makes me super excited. Um, I've reacted to a couple, you know, BL series involving, like, gangs and, you know, fighting and guns and all that kind of stuff, which I'm like, ooh, yes, mm. I'm still waiting for Kim Porsche. Y'all don't know how much my body needs Kim Porsche to be released. That's a conversation for another time. Um, I've dived into, you know, some cooking BLs, um, a couple music related BLs. So like this one just felt like different. It didn't feel, I don't really know how to describe it, but when I watched the trailer, it just felt different. And I'm all about getting into like different genres of BL. So that's high on my list. You guys have been recommending it a lot. Um, you guys have recommended My Beautiful Man a couple of times. I know that that's one, I think it's Japanese, that's got issues with copyrights and is very quick to, you know, block videos or potentially strike, blah, blah, blah. So it's on my to-do list. And if I do it, all those reactions will be on Patreon for free, like all my other reactions are too, just to keep myself safe because I'm not trying to go to jail and, you know, get my channel deleted and no nonsense like that. But that's on my to-do list, to-do list, uh, to, uh, to -do list, as well as... Um, I do dove into the series The Pornographer back in December, I believe it was. Those are all over on Patreon as well for free. Um, and that series has its own world too. So I believe there's a prequel series, a sequel series, and a movie somewhere in that timeline. So I'm going to go back and watch whatever the prequel series was at some point during February when I don't know I don't again these aren't in any particular order I don't know when I'm going to be doing what these are just things that I have on my to-do list my immediate to-do list um then three will be free because I remember being very very excited by that preview very very excited by that trailer when I reacted to it and it's been on my list and so many people have been diving back into the comment section like hey when are you gonna react to this hey when are you gonna react to this so that's on my to-do list um dark blue kiss is one that I enjoyed the trailer for and I really was I was I was excited to dive into it and I've had it on like polls that I put on the community tab of my channel a couple times and it's gotten a few votes here and there but it's never one that's really been like super duper like oh my god you have to watch this you have to watch this you have to watch this but a couple of my patrons actually mentioned it to me and well the patrons kind of have you know a little bit of a 
the hand in deciding certain things. So you know, they, they're everybody's opinion matters to me, but you know, they're they're they're, they're giving me money, so I, I kind of listen to what they say a little bit more. So that's one that's been recommended by recommended by a couple of patrons. So I'm bumping that up the list. A also because I want to see it too. Um, and then that was really the last one I had as far as starting new stuff on my list, but then a number of you guys put down in the comment section when I was finishing up Oxygen the series, saying that you wanted me to react to um, one of the stars in that had a new series coming out, Something in My Room. And I was like, okay, and you said it was like a horror BL, or you guys might not have told me that, but then one of my babies, Mr. Sir Pancakes, sent me a link to the trailer, which I haven't watched yet. Um, I was planning on just doing a reaction to the trailer just for that as well. Um, but he's like, yeah, it's a horror-themed BL. I'm like, ooh. And I was talking to Synergic earlier today because we were recording um, reactions to my day. And he was saying that he just started that series last night or the night before or whatnot. And, you know, he was finding it interesting, too. And y'all know, if Synergic reacts to something, that means I gotta react to it because I love Synergic and I love watching his reaction videos. So I can't watch his reaction videos if I haven't seen the series. <laughs> so so I, that's got a question mark by it. It's on my list with a question mark because my list is already kind of full right now. I got a lot of stuff on this list that I need to get through or that I need to dive into. So I don't want to stretch myself too thin also i'm gonna dive into the next history series because i'm just making my way through the history universe so the next one on my list is history two um right or wrong i think because i just finished as of recording right now i just uploaded my reactions to the last episodes of crossing the line super adorable um yeah so i got lots of series on my to-do list um again there's no particular order when i'm going to be diving into these um, out with the exception of Mr. Cinderella and Lovely Rider, those I'll be diving into first. Um, and then just throughout the month, I'll be diving into the rest. Maybe I'll, f I'll probably finish a, one or two of them out and then, you know, dive into the next ones. Um, but yeah, that, that, series-wise, that's on my to-do list. Um, like I said, I've already started Rainbow Prince. Um, this month, which I'm really, really excited about because it's it's cute, it's cute, it's cute, and it's nice to be back in the Philippines reacting to some Filipino series, um, just because it's been a while since I have, um, and that it always feels like home because that's where I started. Um, so reacting to that and my day with Synergic, Rainbow Prince reactions are on my channel, my day reactions are on his channel. Um, so follow him if you want to see those. Um, and yeah, that's all of my series stuff. Musically. Um, I'll still do my normal music reactions like normal, varied throughout here, there, and ever, or whatever I come across, or whatever people send me. Um, but the second week in February, work wise for me, just looking at my calendar, seems a little bit lighter than um, the rest of the month. So I'm thinking that second week in February, so that would be the 6th through the 12th is when I'm gonna do my next BL music themed week um, because I did that one a couple months back and I've been meaning to die, do another one and I just haven't really had the time to dedicate a full week to it. So that'll be music either from BL series or from actors and actresses in BL series I've reacted to just so I can get to learn some more of the music and more of their voices, blah, 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 blah. And it will actually help me with some research that I'm doing for another set of videos um, that I'm working on. So if you guys have suggestions for stuff, stuff that I haven't reacted to as far as BL music, put it down in the comments. Give them to me, give them to me. I can't guarantee that I'll get to all of them, but I'll try to get to as many of them as I can. Um, mainly because one of the other things that I'm working on or not other videos, um, you, you may have seen a couple of months ago, I did uh, top 10, or I did a ranking video for um, all the tracks in the Guy Saw Pelicula um, soundtrack, ranking them from what's my least favorite to favorite song on, on the soundtrack, and I really, really enjoyed that project. It was it was a lot of fun. I spent a lot of time on it, um, scoring and ranking and moving things around and doing all kinds of stuff, and then cr just creating the script for the video, creating the video editing and all that kind of stuff. I spent a lot of time on it. I don't think it got an abundance of views, but honestly, I don't care. It was a labor of love. I loved it. Um, but even before then, I've had just a number of top 10 list or ranking stuff in the back of my head. And by the back of my head, I mean I have spreadsheets galore that I've just had sitting around and I've just filled out from time to time. 
Um, so this month, I want to try and get three of my um, top 10, top 15, 20, whatever how many um, lists done. So by the time this video, this channel update video goes up, I'll already have the polls up on the community tab of my channel so you can go over there and, you know, cast your vote or whatever you think it is. But first, I'm going to be doing my top 10 or 20, depending on how many artists I get, um, BL slash GL actors or actresses um, who are also singers. So anyone who's dived anywhere near the BO series world knows that like 90% of the people in these series are also amazing singers. Like some of them have established singing careers, some of them just sing for the series or for the soundtrack, but like the majority of the people in these series that I've reacted to are all just amazing singers. Um, you've got your Ian Pangilinans, you've got your um, Bill Keen, um, Jeff Sartour, uh, Gameplay, list goes on and on. Uh, John Ray Rivas, and I, could, I could just keep naming off more and more and more and more people. Whether they're Filipino, they're Thai, Taiwanese, whatever it is, there's just so much amazing talent. And there's so many just things that have been added to my playlist, added to my phone, and that I just jam out to. So that's one list that I've been wanting to do for a while. So I'll be, on the post, I'll be asking you guys for your top, I was gonna say top three, but that might be a little hard, so I'll say top five. You guys can give me your top five either actors or actresses from BL series or GL series who are also singers. And you don't have to put them in any particular order, but just know if you give me more than five, I'm only going to look at the first five you give me. And that's the same rule for all of my other things. If I ask you for a particular number and you give me more than that number, I'm only going to look at the first however many that I asked for. So keep that in mind whenever you give your responses. So yes, that's one list that I'm working on. Another list that I'm working on is going to be the top, my top 10 BL Mama's Boys. Um, that's one that I started back in like September or something. And I've just been taking notes and whatnot for series that I've been watching. But basically that's just characters in these series who have just a great connection with their mothers. And just, well, for me, it reminds me of my relationship with my mama. So, you know, that can be like, um, Chon the Tea and Tone Hone and Chon the Tea. Or, um, what other series was I watching? I don't know. I don't have a list. He's just the first person that popped into mind because I loved his relationship with his mama, but there were a few other people on my list thus far. But you guys can let me know your top three BL series mama's boys. And then the last list that I'm going to be working on this month is my top 10 most huggable BL characters. And basically that just encompasses who you think are just like the most adorable people. You see them on screen and you just can't help but resist the urge to just hug them. You just want to hug them and keep them safe because they are precious. So that includes your Adachis from Cherry Magic, Zone from Why Are You, uh, Chon the Tea from Tone the Home, Chon the Tea, uh, Zhao Zi from History 3 Trapped, um, what's his name from Mr. Hart. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. That's That particular spreadsheet, I've got like 20 names on there so far and I haven't even updated that in probably a couple of months so there's a number of series that I've watched since then that I've got to update that thing list that list with so that I'll be asking you guys for your top three most huggable characters um, again with all of the polls which will be up on the or all the posts on the community tab of my channel I'll be asking you for a particular number and I, I don't care what order you put them in but if you give me more than that number, I'm only going to look at the first however many I asked for. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so the BL Music Week will hopefully help me just get more exposure to the artist. And that will help me um, narrow down things for my top 10, top 15, top 20, however many um, BL slash GL actors who also sing list. And then the other list I'll help, you know, get from you guys. Um, I think that was mostly it. I babbled much longer than I intended to. Um, in my head, this was gonna be like a five minute video. Let me see how that worked out. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna stop babbling so I can go record some things, mainly um, Lovely Rider and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this free. It wasn't a reaction, wow. Autopilot, sorry. Um, <laughs> love you, bye. Mwah. <laughs>
And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.